a man of watch. It's winter time and today we're gonna make a chicken and andouille sausage gumbo. Andouille sausage is a Cajun sausage made from pork. So if you wanna not have pork in there, use a chicken sausage, that's just fine. Um, but it's really a stew. We're gonna use the, they call it the Holy Trinity, the Holy Quad, right? Celery, onions, a little red pepper, some garlic, mix it with some chicken. I'm gonna show you how to make the nice dark roux for the gumbo. And then we're gonna serve it over a little white rice. So make plenty for leftovers, so you can have some all week long, and it'll keep your belly really warm. It won't be super hot, you can't eat it. All our ingredients right here for the gumbo. Um, but we're gonna start by sauteing uh, the andouille sausage and letting it release a little bit of its fat. And then we're gonna create a roux with some vegetable oil and the flour. We're gonna let that get nice and dark brown. And we're gonna take the veggies, saute that in the roux, because that roux's gonna be really hot and it'll cook those veggies really quickly. Then we'll add our chicken stock to sort of make the gravy part of it, along with the seasonings, Cajun seasoning, some fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can use dried thyme, just use about half as much. Uh, salt, pepper, a little bay leaf, and I've also got some chicken um, that I'll put in at the end. This is cooked chicken, it's just left over. Um, you can use pulled rotisserie chicken, you can, you can use shrimp if you want. There's a lot of different ways to do uh, gumbo. Um, I'm also gonna put a little bit of diced tomato in there. And then when it's all done, it's very typically served over a little bit of white rice. So we're gonna pull some uh, white rice that I had left over in the fridge, which is perfect for this. You can use brown rice too, um, and we'll serve it over that. If you don't have rice, you can just eat it as a stew, but rice is actually really uh, pretty important if you wanna call it gumbo. Everything's prepped and ready to go. I cut the sausages, it's called a bias cut, just to give them a little bit more uh, contact with the pan so they get a little bit more brown, a little more surface area for brown. I've diced up all my leftover chicken, my onions, my celery, my pepper. I sliced the garlic. Didn't, I didn't mince it. The smaller you cut the garlic, the more garlic flavor you get in your dish. And so I want some nice garlic there, but I also want uh, not a ton of garlic. Yes, you could mince it and add less, but I also like the shape of the way when you slice the garlic and then you're eating your gumbo or your soup and you get that nice little bite of garlic that's been cooked and the sugars have come out. So I like that in there. Red pepper, our seasonings, flour, oil, and here's my leftover white rice for when we finish it and put it all together. Depending on how much fat your sausage gave off, you might need to add a couple of tablespoons over the cup and a quarter of flour. But what you really want is consistency that looks sort of like melted peanut butter. You can see this is getting nice and brown. It's, it's also extremely hot. So when we add our vegetables, it's gonna add the temperature to stop this from cooking a little bit and getting any more brown, but you gotta be really careful you don't splatter yourself.
here we have our lovely bowl of gumbo with white rice. Turned out just beautiful, beautiful dark sort of nut brown, which just brings in all sorts of loads of flavor. It's not super spicy. If you want to spice it up, feel free. Add a little bit more Cajun than I call for. Maybe put up a little jalapeno in there. You can really spice it up. Or you can add Tabasco uh, when it's all finished. I'm going to enjoy mine with a lovely glass of red wine from Pearly. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nano Clutch. We'll catch you next time. Enjoy your gumbo. Thank you.